Welcome. Let's take a look now at a risk event for the week starting Monday, the 17th of October. And I want to focus in on Wednesday's release of UK CPI, the inflation date. We've seen uh, another tick higher for many of the markets around the world. There's no reason to suggest the UK is going to be any different. Um, last month, you'll remember that the British Consumer Price Index fell uh, for the first time in almost a year in August as a drop in fuel prices offered some un unexpected uh, relief for the markets. Uh, Households, of course, under great strains in terms of personal balance sheets. Annual consumer price growth slowed to 9.9% from July's 40-year high of 10.1%. Let's assume that we are now going to get a return to some sort of upside on this CPI data. And I want to take a look at what's happening with the FTSE 250 index. This is the uh, most uh, domestically orientated uh, market. Uh, and uh, this mid-cap index has recently bottomed out at 16,520 which closed this little bit of a gap that we saw back in May 2020. Uh, if we do get a strong number out on Wednesday, uh, this would translate into higher interest rates. And I think this is going to be uh, another reason to take this at a step down. You can see from the highs we had back on September, early September 2021, at 24,290, we've lost more than 30% on this index. And I think if you get a candle close below this line of support at 16,520, I think then you're on the way down uh, to uh, then on this line to 15,190. Not necessarily quickly, but certainly I think if you get a candle close below there, a stop just above this line at around about the 16,600 uh, would be a good place to take a short position. The MACD is uh, underscoring this idea that momentum is pointing on the way down. And I think that is uh, another reason, I think, possibly to sell this should we get a break and a candle close below the 16,520.